What's up guys, I'm Weekend Warrior. This is part six of my uh, series for Skyrim. As a mage, legendary difficulty as a mage. But I'm just picking up right where we left off from the end of the last one. We're gonna head over to Falkreath. Just wanna clear out my inventory. Let's drop off with all these ingredients that I picked up from Arcadia. I'll just come back for these when, um, when I go and grab all the rest of our uh, items from Golden Hills Plantation. Because then, that's what I usually do. Start out over at Golden Hills Plantation, get alchemy taken care of, get a bunch of uh, good ingredients grown. And then once I'm ready, uh, I move into that, move into Lakeview Manor and Falkreath. And then I'll just like, I'll just take the horse from Golden Hills Plantation, just load up everything, be encumbered, but you can still move around when you're on the horse, and I'll just take the horse over to, uh, if I still have, if I have like items that in Windhelm, or not in Windhelm, in Whiterun, I'll stop at Breezehelm, pick those up, and then just bring everything over to Falkreath, to Lakeview Manor. So that is my favorite spot to be in survival. So it's easy to get to, it has access to that carriage, it's in a good spot, um, you don't need to really, it's, it's usually pretty warm, so you don't need to worry about weather. Even though once you get the clear sky shout, weather doesn't really become that much of an issue. We're just going to take the carriage down to Fall Creek though, because I'm kind of feeling lazy and don't really feel like riding the horse down there. We can just take the carriage down there. Probably just sleep in this inn, because probably I think we'll be tired. No. Oh, the dog. I'm going to speak to Lod. I gotta help three citizens of Falkreath, and one of them is this guy right here. Is Lod? What time is it? 12:40. So it's like 12 o'clock in the morning. You can talk to this guy though. I was Yarrow once, but I was encouraged. Oh, not again. We gotta go into Lod's house and steal Good. some documents for him. Mind what you say. That should be pretty easy though. As long as we're hidden. My sneak is ridiculously high. I could, I could probably, I don't know if I should have told Lydia to just stay outside or not. I'm a lot sleeping anyway. So it's this letter right here that we gotta grab for him. But this will count as like one of the three people that you can help to be uh, Thane. And I'm just gonna run over to this guy before he, um, again before he goes into his freaking house. I just got to him. Use this letter. What's this? Some... Good work. And go to Mark my words. I'll be Yarl again someday. So Dead Man's Drink is the inn in Falkreath. Who's this guy? A sad time. You're going to have oh, this men around here that red guard. Your finger in no time. This guy is, uh, I think this guy wants to get in a fight with you. Welcome to Dead Man's Pretty sure. This would probably be a good, uh, I don't know. I have, uh, maybe Flames would be a good one. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go Why? What are you gonna do? Dude, I'm gonna Cry. kick, let's kick this guy's freaking ass. I don't have to take that from you. Somebody run! Actually, might freaking paralyze this dude. Yep, get freaking paralyzed, bro. Get him, Lydia. Whack him, Lydia. Get him. Just freaking dunk on this guy while he's paralyzed. Let's steal his freaking stuff. Let's sell it. Wow, get dunked on, dude. Freaking milk drinker. Who's the milk drinker? Oh, that wasn't the kill cam. What? Are you freaking kidding me? I got a bounty for that? That's freaking BS, dude. Yeah, let's just settle this bounty. What? What is this? Yeah, whatever. What is that BS? Let's pay the bounty, whatever, it's fine. Come on in. You got warm food, warm drink. 
This is a local favorite at sad time. We can steal this guy's stuff. Nice, he had a potion ultimate healing on him. Some dragon plant insulated boots. And some gear that we can sell to find moonstone. You're going to have the men around here wrapped around your finger. I escaped fighting in secret. Take a look. I need to sell that to this lady. Here, take a look at this. Sure it's, thing. it's yours for a day. It's going to shell for Whatever. Look at this nice freaking room here. It's a big one. Double bed and everything. What a nice room, Lydia. I don't know, I think like some people I think don't like Falkreath. I like Falkreath. When he met the shield maiden Matilda who said Sucker. Freaking milk drinker. Oh, you talk and you lie. Don't like those ice you got. Now I think it's hot. Yeah, it's just as a blood star vampire, like that's all people people like they don't attack you or anything, they'll just say that this uh whatever the hunger their eyes or whatever they say. Okay, we can help this guy off. I just fit. Could you deliver the ashes? Thank you. Till next time. We'll just take care of uh this the the part of the quest where we need to help out the Falkley citizens. We'll just do that right now. We can just bring these down to this guy down here. To Runo. Uh, thank you for bringing this to me. Uh, cool. So we got that done, and then we should be able to just invest in um in I forget his, what his name is Soloff or whatever his name is. This guy. In Grey Pine Goods. I can't believe we let provincials like yeah, Bowman's gonna talk shit to us because we're not a Nord. Well met. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. What have you got for sale, dude? That sort of thing. Let's check in some miscellaneous here. He's got some glass. I'll take that. I'll take the goat horns. And the straw. What's my inventory at? 383. So you might need to put the backpack on. Pretty soon. I can't believe we let it's a dick bullen. If you're a Nord, he's nice to you. But if you're not, if you're basically, if you're not a Nord, then he just talks shit to you. And let's talk to the crooked Jarl here. Yes. Ah, he got his letter. Yes. He's gonna give us a quest to do. To clear out some bandits. I wonder where he's gonna send us. I'm hoping it's Ember Shard, Bile Gulch Mine. Okay. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. I like I like it. Spare no one. Will do. Freaking noted, dude. Spare no one. Okay, let's get this on our map. Oh, this is the one that's that's kind of lame. It's freaking far. I was hoping it'd just be like Ember Shard Mine, but whatever. It's really close to Hendrime. I'll talk to Lod when I get. Yeah, talk to. I guess. Yeah, talk to Lod when we get back so you can buy some iron from him. What a quest do I have on here? I'm gonna get rid of that. So, Bio Gulch Mine. Is that, which way do we, need to, do we need to go? I think I need to head out this way. I need to go here. It's definitely not that way. Okay, so we gotta take the road going this way. We have to go west, north, and west. Okay, it's on the map. It's on the, the markers on the map in front of me there. And then probably veer off to the left here. So yeah, if I could just get the get that um the house started in Falkreath. All it just needs a bunch of iron. If you have a bunch of iron on you, it's pretty much smooth sailing. You can just buy the logs, all the other materials, uh, the stone and clay. Um, 
Yeah, it just it just takes a then the houses they just take a bunch of freaking iron. But I basically want to um at least get uh, the the uh, at least get the um the the greenhouse. Okay, I'm just gonna fucking ignore this. Can at least get the the greenhouse um addition made. That's I always build that for uh, some extra for for alchemy up. So, so I like alchemy a lot, so we can get um, good ingredients uh, going, and then probably move our move our stuff from Golden Hills Plantation over to Falkreath, and then and then uh, might start the. It'd probably be a good thing to start the uh, the um, whatever it's, uh, the Mara's blessing or. The, I forget what the quest is called exactly. It's like the Agent of Mara quest, you know, that you can get in Riften, because it gives you a plus 15 magic resistance, 15% uh, magic resistance when you complete the quest. And the first part of it starts in Iverstead, which we have to go to Iverstead anyway. It's this freaking ice spike sticking out of the horse. But that's like a really quick, good quest to have. It's just like, dudes, uh. You know, they have like a lot of, it seems like they have a lot of hours in Skyrim. I mean, the game's been out since, what, 2011? And they have like, you know, Daedric armor with, uh, at the, the maximum, um, maxed out armor cap. But they're getting dunked on and they're just, they're usually getting dunked on by like mages and dragons because of the magic, uh, damn, magic damage. Let's get our ebony flesh. Yeah, it's usually the magic damage that's getting, um... Roger. Samara's Wrath. Dunk on this guy, he's dead. Samara's Wrath probably take care of him. Yep, he's down. But yeah, they don't have any like magic resistance. And that's what you're gonna get. That's what's gonna freaking dunk on you later on in the game. Because it's easy to get to the armor resistance to the uh, physical resistance cap. In on this guy. Blow that dude up. Where's this guy? Up down here. Fricks this clown. What are you doing over here, dude? Weirdo. Took out all those losers. They have a bunch of orcish gear over here. Which I. Mm, don't think I'm gonna actually this that helmet's worth quite a bit. Oh, okay, so we're over over our weight limit now, so let's get the backpack on. That helmet was worth quite a bit. For how much it weighed, it's pretty pretty lightweight. Is there anything Lydia made it? Unfortunately she's gotta use her freaking noodle power, her legs to get up here. Doesn't have a horse. Got the rest of these clowns. Should just be the one guy man cheap. Had some Nordic armor. That's worth quite a bit. I can sell that. Pretty sure. I don't know. I can't remember if I have a full Nordic armor set. I think I do. So yeah, we, we already have. A, I already have a whole Nordic armor set, so I can just sell this one. Noracks of flames. Spell tome for a paralysis rune. I'm gonna grab some flour. We got over here some raw beef, not gonna bother. This barrel, some apples, nice. And I think this is all like orichalcum, which I don't really need any of that. Alright, let's get out of here, Lydia.
anything worth grabbing over here? Some Orcish arrows, I don't really care about that. Anything good up top? No. Alright. Horses down there. This dude didn't really have much. It's my weight arm. And I have some stuff that I can sell anyway. We'll talk to Lod, the armor, the blacksmith. Sell some crap and I'm hoping he has like a bunch of iron. So how much iron do I have on me? I have quite a bit. So I should be able to build quite a bit of that house. Let's head back here. I think I'm just gonna pause the video here too and start it back up once we get into Fall Creek. Unless I'll, unless something interesting happens on the way back. Let's pause it though. All right, this freaking mage is giving me problems. Slowing our, slowing our horse down. Oh, this black, this is that wild horse. I'm sure that's one of the horses that you can tame. Oh damn, Lydia with the kill cam. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's one of the horses that you can tame. I already have this this horse, so I'm not gonna worry about taming that guy. Damn, Lydia had the freaking kill the sick nasty kill cam on her. Nice. I'm pretty close to Fall Creek here. Yeah, as a mage though, for spells, I usually just use like um Thunderbolt. Or I think that's what's called. What is it called? I think it's called Thunderbolt. Yeah, Thunderbolt for for shock against like mages. It does good shock damage and shock reduces um the amount of magicka that you have. Uh, incinerate uh, does a lot of damage, a lot of fire damage. That's a good one. And then elemental blast does a ton of damage too. It does shock and fire damage. So that, that it's like that uh, that it's like a shock uh, and fire like fireball it does a ton of damage. So use those. And then um, unbounded freezing is really good for uh, like if, if enemies are getting put too close, it can it, like knocks them over. So that one's really useful. Mars Wrath does really good damage, especially against Draugr. And like I was saying, I think I was saying last video that um, basically any 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 Draugr besides like Draugr Death Lords will just flee. And yeah, Lydia is super impressed by healing spells too. You know, killed Lydia by a gulch mine. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. I hereby grant you permission. There is room. I'm gonna ask him. I could only grant I was gonna talk about being the, the Thane. And I'll make you my on your way then. And we've already helped these people, so we helped all three of them. The th or the helped three people, Thane so we're good. And our Thane. Congratulations. I grant you a personal I'll also notify my Okay, cool, so the blade of Fall Creek and we can them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Get Rhea. Rhea should show up. She's our house carl. Or uh, yep. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house carl. Awesome, so I'll make Rhea the steward. But I'm not gonna have her follow me yet, because I want Lydia to come along still. I just gotta talk to the steward. I'm not really sure where she went. She. I protect the yard. Uh, Whoever that might be, has some use for you. Where'd this girl go? Maybe she went outside. I gotta talk to her about buying the place, buying, buying uh, Lakeview Manor. Yeah, I was saying like Mars Wrath is really good um, to do like, you know, it gets like constant damage, doesn't do a ton of damage, but that's a good one. Makes Undead Flea, and then Paralysis Rune. I really don't like uh, switching between spells a whole lot, so I just kind of stick with those, and I can just have them on my hotbar. Because I don't really like having to open up my favorites a whole lot, because it kind of just takes away from the immersion. Like I, if I, I like just using my hotbar, that way it's, the combat's like really fluid. God, I gotta find this. Here, here she is. Freaking hey. And then yeah. 
There's no house available. Yeah, we're gonna take it. Here's the awesome. Top. Follow the road east from Fall Creek, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Time Watch. Yeah, I really don't have like having to open up my favorites a whole lot during combat, except like with uh, having maybe like um, hitting a potion of uh, the like a uh, fortified destruction potion or uh, one of the fire or shock damage poisons. But I like to just kind of keep combat fluid and just use my hotkeys. And those are like my favorite. Those are like the favorite destruction kind of mage spells that I like using. So I just stick with those. So there's these bandits up here. I should just take these guys out. Yeah, that's a freaking clown. Just missed them. Nope, a little bit too high. Okay, you got that guy. Nope. That was a direct hit on this bandit thug. Oh, is he dead? Okay, he. So I hope I hope Lydia doesn't run into these boulders. For some reason, they do like a ton of damage to your followers, and they get like mad at you. Might get mad at you and uh, start trying to attack you sometimes. You know, that planet, that bandit plunder is almost down. This guy's getting freaking dunked on by everybody over there. Oh, darn. Okay, so we triggered the rest of these boulders. I just hope Lydia doesn't freaking run into them. Looks like she's good. There's still this. Freaking loser up top there. Is this guy almost dead? Oh, it's a bear over there. Where the heck is this guy? Looks like I gotta go over. Over this way. Yes, I just wanna take out this freaking bandit plunderer, man. This loser freaking run away? Where'd this guy go? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna freaking blow your ass up, dude. Let's just take out this kitty bear. Nice with the kill cam on it. Let's go. Imperial business. Be on your way. Don't run into these boulders, Lydia, please. Yeah, so you should, like, they, like, get mad at you for running into the boulders. I don't get it. Weirdo. Wait, did you take any damage? Let's just give her a heal. Yeah, Lydia's super impressed by her healing spells. Got to do is go down the lot. Actually, no, we gotta go. We gotta go back down here because I gotta buy a bunch of. I gotta have to buy lumber too. And I'm making Lydia run back and forth. So I gotta buy lumber from the uh, the guy at the lumber mill. And then um, sell some of this crap in my inventory to Lod and see if he has, see if he has any. Uh, if he has any iron on him. Okay, I'm 91,000 gold. That's pretty decent. Alright, cool. This guy's over here. So we can talk to him. I'll probably buy like 200 logs from this guy. Like doing some building, eh? I'll have them hauled over right... Doing some building, eh? I'll have them hauled over right away. 
Doing some building, eh? I'll have them hauled over right... Doing some building, eh? I'll have them hauled over right... Doing some building, eh? I'll have them hauled over right... Doing some building, eh? I'll have them right, That should be right good away. to start out with, and then I can probably... And then I can just buy the rest if I need it from Rhea. When we make her the steward. Lots of them start the quest with Barbus. There's one out there. Nope. If you are willing to retrieve them, would. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Yeah, whatever, dude. Check the road just outside of town. I'm not going to do that quest anytime deal's soon. Good, but loyalty's better. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? Uh, let's sell that. Yeah, whatever. I just want to get this out of my inventory. Okay, let's see if he has uh, the Corundum will buy. Buy the Dwarven Meddling. Gets a bunch of iron. Awesome. So he's got a bunch of iron on him. Some silver ore. Buy the steel. Should be good. There's like a bunch of iron to work with. Should we be able to like build quite a bit of this house? I'm not gonna build the whole thing either, but um, basically as much as I can with the iron that I have on me. I have some straw. Should be able to. Okay, 31 straw, awesome. And leather strips. I'm pretty sure I have those too. So we'll be able to get like a bed there. Pretty much build like everything on the outside. Yeah, I really like this the Lakeview Manor home just because of how close it is to Fall Creek. You can just um if, if you're out and about in survival, you know, any of the major holds have a carriage, you can just take the carriage back to Fall Creek, and then it's a short horse ride up to Lakeview Manor. You just have to like go through just have to go through a little bit of Fall Creek to get there. And that's it. Bam, you're at your uh you are at your house and then your house has um the house that has uh, spots for this freaking mud crabs over here. Uh, has spots for doing some farming or plant for alchemy, planting ingredients. Um, has access to a carriage, which is which is huge. Oh, I'll just pull up these freaking mud crabs. Clowns, mud mud crab clowns. All right, let's get this started here. So I'm gonna grab the ingredients, well, I'm grab the materials in there, and then access the drafting table. Just a small house layout, and we can get this started here. Just need some nails. Do I have any uh, arrows? I don't think I have any. Heavy, uh, I could at least give him. Lydia some better arrows. I don't think I, I have to pay attention to that. I can give her some. Still here. She, she doesn't. Uh, she never uses a, the a, like. If you have a better bow, you know, if you give her like an ebony bow, she just she still won't use it. She'll just use a regular. I think it's a hunting bow. But you can give her arrows, and she'll use those. All you gotta do is just give her one. Just need some nail, more nails. Move your butt out of the way, Lydia. What else do I need? Iron fittings. Kind of in the way, girly. on her smithing. What else do I need? Just nails, I think. Just need some... Just build all these things. 
could have all of the all the iron that I need. What do I need for the smelter? A couple iron fittings, alright. Alright, cool. So we have the little small house here, and then all of our outdoor items that we can build. I just gotta wait for Ray to get up here, and I'll, have, and I'll purchase the rest of the junk. And now, I'm actually I'm gonna convert this, though. I'll make the main hall. Iron fittings, locks, a lock, and some hinges. The door. I need, well, need quarried stone. Really, I, I don't think I have a pickaxe on me. Actually, I think the the house has a pickaxe next to there. Hmm. Maybe if I wait like a couple hours, Rhea will make it up here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna wait a couple hours and see if. Does Rhea make her way up here? No. Oh man, that's lame. Might need to uh, whack some freaking rocks here. I was hoping that Rhea would just make her way up here and I could... Oh, there she is. Awesome. So I can just make her my steward. I can just buy the stone. I am... I'd be honored to be your steward. Okay, so we gotta grab Lydia though, because she's gonna here. she's gonna walk away on us. We don't want we don't want that. So I'm gonna grab Lydia and then need, Yep, we wanna make some improvements. So yep, definitely good. awesome. So we got the I'll carriage. Certainly. What did you have in mind? Get a bard, it sure. Be pleasant to have some music. Certainly. What did you have in mind? I'm not gonna buy these right now. The horse cow or chicken, I don't need any of those. Of course. What are we running We need stone. Certainly. Is there anything else you need? I buy like a hundred stone. Certainly. Is there anything else you need? 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 Maybe like forty more lumber. I'll see to Is there anything else you need? I'll see to Is there anything else you need? Got plenty of gold. And then Certainly. Is like there anything 40 else clay. I'll see to Or Is lumber, I guess, whatever. Certainly. Is there anything else you need? Okay, you don't need anything else, I'll we're good. Leave, all this junk should be in here. Probably gonna be encumbered when I, if I take all this, it's all, that's okay though. Yeah, I just need some nails. So you just need so much freaking iron for these houses. Alright, that's all of it. And uh, cool, so we're not encumbered anymore. Why don't you uh, make the uh, greenhouse addition? And then let's convert the entryway. Yeah, remodel house into entryway. See if you can just make this greenhouse right away. Leveling up our smithing too. It'd probably be even be better if I was rested, but that's okay. Just need a roof. So I just need some nails. Awesome. Cool, so the greenhouse add-on is ready to go. Let's check this place out. Ooh, 
cool. There's the Llewellyn. He's gonna introduce himself. I am the Bard Llewellyn. Sir, tell him to play the lute. The most elegant. The lute sound is uh, my favorite one out of all the instruments. How much? Uh, I still have quite a bit of building materials. Can I make the beds? All right, cool. So I can make the beds. And then I'm gonna go down here, and um, it's really convenient to have the blacksmith anvil in here. So that way you don't need to like go outside um, for to make like nails and stuff if you need whatever you need. Making Lydia follow me around everywhere. Uh, miscellaneous. Uh, the alchemy lab, yep. Awesome. And then the fireplace. It's a good one to have. Cool. The alchemy table there. Let's start making as much of this crap as I can. Looks like I need a, a lot of iron fittings and nails, so let's start making those. Honor to you. I'm gonna make all this. It'd probably be a good idea to be to get the arrested bonus. That's well, only 10 10 percent, but I mean, I don't know. It's better than better than not getting it. So these just need. Okay, those need hinges. Yes, nice. We can get the wall. Yeah, the wall sconces. Awesome. So we can get some light in here. The arcane enchanter. I just need a gold ingot. That's easy enough. I can just use the transmute spell. Just wondered, did that craft a gold ingot? Gold ore? Okay, I've got one gold ore. That should give me what? Uh, another gold ore? Yep, okay, cool. Probably craft some hinges too. Probably need some. Enchanter. Nice. We'll just start like one room at a time now. Need nails. Okay. So all these need and all I need in here are the trophies. That's fine. Let's go into this, the living, like the dining area room. This needs iron, some iron fittings and lock, and a couple locks. All right, we can do yes. that. Let's make like six of those. A couple locks. Awesome. 
awesome. So all we need is the trophies in this room. I'm missing some iron fittings. Yeah, you just need so the houses need just so much iron, man. And there's the cellar too. I'm not gonna worry about the cellar right now though. Alright, awesome. So all I need is the, the uh, just like a safe and then the trophy trophy uh trophies in there. Just need nails it looks like. Really like to get the planters up though. Let's see if we can get the planters up. Okay, I need stone. Is Rhea in here? She's probably outside. No, she's sleeping. I'm gonna wake her up to buy building Where materials. What a jerk. Is there anything else you need? Certainly. Is there anything else you need? Certainly. I'll yeah, from a role playing perspective, um, if you make this house, uh, you know, if you have like, if you adopt the kids or whatever, and then have her as your house car, I'll feel kind of bad because um, she doesn't have a place to sleep anymore, which you know, it's just a video game, but. I feel kind of bad because uh, this is like this is the room that you can build up an, ex an extra bedroom in, but I never use it to build a bedroom because of the uh, the gr I always use the picket for the greenhouse. Iron fittings, man. All right. How much iron ore do I have? Ten. Okay. Just make. And iron fittings were almost almost blasted through all that iron. Need nails. A couple more. I can quarried stone that which is outside. For the decorations too, I could t I could just um, give the money, give the gold to Rhea, and have her decorate them. And then basically, like every time you cross the proper the the property line, and I think it when you come back, it like builds another item. So we just need like nails and hinges. Alright, I'm gonna pause it here and just uh, unload my inventory and then start it back up when I'm done with that. Alright, dudes, so unloaded the inventory. I think I'm gonna do is take the. See, I gave. Uh... What the heck? What was this? Bandit plunder. What the heck is this bandit plunder? Weird. Anyways, um, gave Lydia a torch too. It's nice to have your, at least on survival, it's nice to have your follower have a torch. But the nice thing too is now, I can just have this dude bring me right over to Rorikstead, we'll which is super close to Golden Hills Plantation.
That was weird, that freaking goat fell out of the air. Or that uh, cow. Damn, I think I'm gonna grab all these guys' crops. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is probably a legendary dragon. Man, you better not freaking take out anybody in this town. Let's get the bomb ball. Got the freaking awesome dragon battle music going. Okay, I'm gonna do. Let's do weakness to shock. This guy might hit me with the. Uh, yeah, he did. That's alright. Health's going down a little bit. It's okay. Let's hit a grand healing. Yeah, we're really freaking dunking on this dude. He's one shot here. Got him. With the kill cam. Turn him into an ash pile. Get wrecked. What do you think about that, Lydia? When he does leave that too, that uh, I think that's drain vitality. I also have this potion to regenerate health, and I could have hit that as well. Basically, negates that um, drain vitality freaking shout. But I'm gonna grab all this here. I might get Hilda too, that goat over there. Yeah, this goat. I might grab Hilda. She's pretty convenient to have. Like sometimes I put a bunch of uh, like vegetable soups on her and stuff, just in case I uh, or whatever. If you like doing uh, this, I, sometimes I put I'd put like arrows on her. If you need, need extra arrows, you can summon her. Get pick up your uh, crap, and, or if you like need to drop stuff off too, you can throw junk on her. Grab these cabbages. Now these guys are just looking at nothing. I'm at that ash pile. Who has the goat? I think it's this guy. Of course. For that price. Hey, we got Hilda. Wait for me at home, and I'm, I want to. I want her to go to Golden Hills. So she. Sh I don't want her to go. Hope she goes over there. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe just have her follow me. Just have her follow me over there. Cause I don't really feel like having her. Um, at Lakeview Manor, she kind of gets in the way. She'll like get in the way of uh, the freaking doorways and crap. Well, this should follow me over here, though. Hilda. Okay. Stay here. This is your new home. Alright. Cool. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just I'm gonna grab all these uh all these um crops and stuff and then go inside, grab the rest of that crap, and then um be on our way to right white uh white run. So I'll just start that up. Pause it here and start it up when we're uh, about to do that.
Alright, dude, so, just grabbed all of our stuff. And we're super encumbered. Look at all that. Freaking super duper encumbered. But I have everything on me except I forgot to. Oh, man, I gotta walk all slow to go over here. I forgot to grab all the uh, junk in here. Let's grab the rest of that. Let's be on our way to White Run. See, the nice part about uh, that that one, the perk in in Restoration to re uh, regenerate stamina when you cast a healing spell is really nice. Yeah, this is not going to be very interesting. I'm just going to head down to White Run and I will uh, meet you guys there. So I just pulled up the White Run. Let's grab our crap from Bree's home. Probably sell some a lot of this crap to Adrian here. Even if I don't make money, I can just get it out of my inventory. I'm not too concerned about like not being able to make money from it. I'll keep the you know, all those daggers that I crafted. Got some good pieces out here. A bunch of this junk. I'm just gonna sell to her. It's Daedric Warhammer or Lightning. I keep that. All these daggers I'll keep. Maybe I'll just uh, keep that steel sword. I can just sell all of these. Yeah, I'm not, I don't care if I'm making, I'm making money off of them. Just want to get rid of them. I don't need that. I need this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause it here and then start it back up when I get this finished with this. All right, got a, got rid of a bunch of junk. Are you a priest? Freaking Lydia. I'm just gonna walk into Bree's home. Just pause it here and start it up when we're ready to go to Fall Creep, I think. Okay, it's super encumbered, but on the horse. Heading to Fall Creep. I'm gonna pause it and start it up when uh, we're there. Okay. So I got everything in their places where I want them to be. Got a bunch of um, ingredients planted. Pretty much uh, just like the ones over at um, Golden Hills Plantation, just have less to work with. But it's fine, I got plenty of ingredients now. And a uh, majority of this, uh, the, the house is uh, built. It's just some items that are missing, that's okay. Honor I can just, I just do that in my own time, really. Yeah, just like some of these things are missing, that's alright, I just need some iron. Need, I got iron in here though. Yeah, I got like decent amount of iron in there now. Like, what's this missing? Not that much. Cool. Alright. I got these wolves. I gave Lydia some ebony arrows. So she'd be using those now. And I'm pretty sure Rhea said that there was a... There's gonna be... I think there's gonna be some skeevers down here. Yeah, she was talking about how... Uh, she heard some of these guys down in the basement. Get these clowns out of here. I don't know why Lydia's... When we're a vampire, she says that stuff. You know what I can also, I can make a, uh, it's kind of interesting, you can put a coffin in here if you're a vampire, which I might do later on. I'm not going to work on furnishing the cellar right now. But yeah, I cleaned up a bunch of uh, inventory. Cool, let's head out. Let's head out to Riften and get this Agent of Mara quest started. Because it starts in Iverstead, and I have to go to Iverstead anyway. Lydia's smart, she's getting her torch out. 
Where do you want to go? I'm gonna go to Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be I've on. been looking for you. Oh, Courier. <laughs> That's about Rallis. Your hands only. Let's enough. see here. Got this from a pretty excited looking dark elf. Looks okay, like so we'll have to go back to Windhelm, go. too. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Black Briar Mead. You mug the dads, and you'll forget all of I think the game just crashed. Yep. That's annoying. Alright, dude, let's start it back up here. That's kind of annoying. It's okay, though. Pick up where we left off here. Okay, cool. So just uh, auto save when we got out. Right, not a big deal. Where do you want to go? This freaking courier gun. Come here. I've been looking for you. Okay. Got this. Looks like that's it. Okay. Go. Message from Rallis. I'm gonna go to Riften. We'll I'm hoping not bothered by anybody in Riften. I'm just gonna try to like avoid freaking Brynjolf and everybody that's gonna try to talk to me. I just wanna go right to the Temple of Mara, just go there, get the quest, and freaking get out of there. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, for the Talking about some the city. BS tax. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Gates unlocked. You can head Take inside when you're ready. Nice mule. Right. I'll talk to these people speak. later. Be careful with Please help me. Sapphire. Yeah, I'm still like. Freaking avoid people. Heed my words. This guy, uh, Murmel, I can ask him. Wonderful. Mar we also perform wedding ceremonies. Yes. Ask him about getting married in case I want to do that later. Are you familiar? Typically, love a person when another person shows interest and the two agree to be together. Might as well just be spalled and buy the same tomorrow or whatever. Mara bless you. Okay, cool. So we got that out of the way. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the. Let's freaking bring you off over there. He's just not leave us alone. I'm gonna try to sneak by him. Just want to go to the Temple of Mara. Get this quest started. Lady Mara, we are devoted. Her blessings are many. To receive, ex. Are you prepared then? To yep. Mara, just tell me what to do. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Cool. Mm -hmm. Book of Love. Let's get that quest. Tracked. So we gotta talk to Fastrid and Iverstab. We gotta go there anyway for the Greybeards. On our way up to High Rothgar. And we successfully avoided everyone that's gonna try to talk to us here. Yay. How may I help you, my daughter? Oh, except this freaking guy, dude. Whatever. Leave you alone. Leave me alone, dude. Whatever, dog. Forgot about that, dude. Come back to Riften later and talk to all those clowns. But not right now. Where do you want to go? So now I can just go back to Falkreath. We'll to our house. Oh, steady.
So yeah, that's why I like Lick Boom Manor the most. It's just you can just take a, um, you can just take a carriage to Fall Creek, and it's really close. It's just a short little horse ride away. That's access to a car carriage, so you can get to a bunch of different places from there. I'm playing survival mode, that's what I always go with, is just uh, is Lakeview Manor, it's like my favorite one out of them. At least if you want it, because also with the, uh, yeah, all the planters too, you have access to ingredients. My favorite one out of all of them. Let's get rid of this um, our fatigue, so we're not like totally drained when we go over to Iverstead. Okay, Lydia's gonna run around. So if I just like do that. She'll stop running around all goofy like that. Oh, did you need something? Okay, we're well rested. Ridley is still running around all goofy with her torch. So let's talk to our carriage driver. What's his name? Gunyer? Where do you want to go? I had diver stat. Climb and back. We'll be off. What time is it? 8.15? 8.15 a.m.? See how long it takes to get over there. What time is it now? 2.06 in the afternoon. Okay. So let's talk to Faster. Let's get this uh, first part of this Book of Love quest done. Are you the one sent by Mara? My parents are Bassi. The only so she has some guy issues. Can we just oh, tell her we talk so to her much. parents about it. It's wonderful to have someone around Luckily, her understands. parents are right here. My daughter, I'm sure she thinks. Let me tell you. Until a few months now, it, yep. it will pass. Look around. Used to be, if all the young people leave, what you know, and like always, a little push yeah. in this. Would so all she doesn't want him to leave. She doesn't want her to leave. And her mom though doesn't really care. She just wants her to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, Marcianus is. If he knew that, let him know that I'll watch out for them. But between the two guys, we can either talk to Bastianus or Klimic. Klimic's right over here, and I think. Bassianus seems like kind of a little bitch. I think I like Klimic a lot more than Bassianus. Seems like I don't know, more of a manly man than freaking Klimic is. And we could talk to him too just about delivering some supplies for him up to High Rothgar. We'll do that for him. He'll appreciate it. Take this bag of supplies at the top of this. And then we'll talk to him. Talk to him about faster. would know what's going on. He understand. What did you call me? Let's we'll tell him to be bold, and now he'll go in. He'll go and talk to her. Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. Look at that matchmaking, Lydia. How about that? Pretty girl. Bro, can you go talk to Bastard? And get this quest done. Anyways, so we're totally not gonna follow him and creep on his conversation right now. How about Lydia? Let's just uh. Let's just let's just be all super sneaky. I have something to say to you. Totally not creeping on the conversation. What is it? I don't want you to leave by mistake. Why not? Because I would miss They have no idea we're creeping on them, Lydia. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clemic. There we go, yay. So we got that first part of the there's three different parts of it, so we got that first part done. And I'm going to grab all of these freaking cabbages. It's a fine 
Yeah, if you're a blood star vampire, nobody cares. All they do is just say that, like, don't like those eyes that you got or whatever. It's really not that big of a deal. So it's it's three o'clock in the afternoon. What is it? Here for work. Get an axe. Let's talk to this guy. If I were you, I'd keep away here. Take a look at this. Some of the arrows dragon. You can ask him about this barrel that's right next to this uh, inn. That's giving them problems. Certainly isn't helping my we can go investigate him for him. Investigate it for him. It's really easy. Heard any rumors? Okay, since we're a vampire, those people start saying that about going to see Thalion. Let's. What I'm thinking, though, I'm just gonna. We don't get many. Sure thing. rent a room here, and we'll head up to High Rothgar tomorrow in the morning. Yeah, we'll just head up there in the morning, just because I don't. I don't want it to be all super duper cold when we get up there. So we'll just sleep through it. And head out there like right in the morning. Pull you to your room. Right this way. Yeah. Get some vegetable soup. Damn bears are There's, driving. Yeah, Bastianus is right there. Those bears make a mist. Ah, such a fine day. Smell the air. Isn't it wonderful? Trouble. Alright, let's head up to High Rothgar. I think I'm just gonna freaking ignore the bears and trolls that we run come across. Let's get our torch out. It says the air is frigid, so we'll get our torch out to get some extra warmth. Yeah, there's like a bear on the way up here. I'm just gonna ignore this guy. If I had a weapon on, like a sword or something, if I had a, if I had a not a mage build, I'd take him out, but I'm just gonna run right by him. It says the air is frigid, but it's probably just because it's pretty early in the morning still. It should warm up. As long as it's not like a blizzard, but it looks pretty clear. Yeah, there's a couple frost trolls on the way on the way up here, but whatever. Not really that big of a deal. I'm just gonna roll. I'm just gonna ignore them. Yeah, in survival, I usually go for trying to get through the main quest. I think I said this earlier, but trying to get through the main quest up to the point where we can get the clear skies shout. Because that, that one is really useful in survival for um, dealing with cold areas of the map, and especially if there's like a blizzard or some bad weather going on there that makes it significantly colder. You can just use the clear skies shout, and uh, it gets it gets rid of that blizzard. It just makes it like it's like it says it makes the freaking sky clear, which um makes it a lot warmer. So you don't need to worry about uh cold temperatures as much. Which I think in survival, like my favorite um favorite races are uh, either a Nord or an Orc. 
Nords have that plus 25 warmth and also um, a 50% frost resistance, which is really useful if you're not playing a vampire build. Because then, I mean, 50% frost resistance, you don't really need to worry about crafting any uh, gear that has frost res resistance on it. That's still really good. We can deliver uh, clinic supplies for them. While I'm in here. There we go. And yeah, the orc has plus 10 warmth and then a 15% reduction to fatigue and hunger, which is really useful. Yeah, I'm just going to tell Lydia to... Lydia can just chill right there. Anything else? No, that's it, Lydia. So, Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Let's shout out. Answer is probably the most humble. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon Mordic. Whether you are the only dragon blood of this age, you are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You Let's tell them we're ready to learn. discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a boom to a shout. Now let us see if you are willing yeah, it's fine. to learn. When okay. you shout to chill right there. The language of dragon, Anything else? Now she should your dragon blood. She should just chill there until I tell her to follow me again. Shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einhardt will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, Morse, and focus your boom or shot. Got the second word of power for unrelenting force. But learning a word of power is too interesting. You must unlock its meaning to master the practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force of knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einar. Lydia. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear.
And left Lydia Falls longer. Not gonna leave her behind. Torch out so don't freeze my butt off. See how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a film. Isn't a favorite this for now. I don't really use World Run Sprint all that much, but I'm just having his favorite for a little bit here. Quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. Alright. Sky above, voice within. So I get the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. We heading out? Let's head out, Lydia. What I'm gonna let's let's one of these quests is gonna be on the way back. The blessing of nature one. So we're up here. Go back down to uh, towards Iverstead and then go along the path, basically behind the mountain up to Helgen and then to Lakeview Manor from there. And we'll cross over across uh, next to that quest. For, uh, to uh, revive the Gilder Green tree. So it's good to do that one because the tree is really pretty. It's right in the middle of White Run and it looks like a piece of crap right now. Freaking eyesore. But it looks really nice when you complete the quest and revive the tree. And this is probably going to be the Mirac cultists uh, waiting for us down in Iverstep when we get down there, but let's show them who's boss. We can hit him with the paralysis or just dunk on him.
It's a nice day. Nice clear day. I don't need to worry about it being freaking freezing our butt off on the way back now. So just talking about how we got, I think I got brown rot on the last one. In that uh, mine, or whatever, in that Draugr uh, crypt. Which is really annoying because as a vampire, you're supposed to have 100% disease resistance. But in survival, it's like, I don't know, that's freaking, that one, that's one annoying thing about survival is that, like, if you have 100% disease resistance, that should mean, like, hey, you're, you are, you are not going to contract any freaking diseases. Cause even like if you're, I know like even if you have uh, a disease resistance necklace on, like 100% disease immunity, so you still have a chance of contracting the disease in survival, which is freaking annoying, man. They should, I don't know, it's kind of BS. Should see the Pretty sure there should be some cultists. Yeah, there they are. Walking over here right now. See those clowns? Let's go with uh, Ebony Flesh. pop up paralysis soon right there and then talk to them like right before they get to it it's gonna be freaking hilarious you there you're the one they call dragonborn yep your lies fall on death when lord mirak appears whatever dog what is he gets doing dude freaking suckers Weird, I didn't uh, run over it. Just start dunking on him. Nice hit Mars Wrath. Some extra fire damage. Okay, it keeps toast. Look how the townspeople help you out too. Don't really wanna I'm just in a quick save. I don't really wanna like here, maybe I can do it in incinerate, that should be pretty safe. Yeah, Mary should Damn man, he sent the freaking D squad over to deal with these guys. Yeah, let's take their stuff so now they're freaking stay away naked. Oh, nice. Cell. Turn this guy into an ash pile. Sucker. I did tell Lydia to. Come on over here, freaking horse ran over there. Alright, let's head out of here. Probably run into, run into some cultists on the way back too. Pretty surprised there wasn't a higher level cultist. We're level 85. That was only like a regular ass cultist and then an adept cultist. Usually, I sometimes see like freaking ascendant cultists. If I'm, if I'm like pretty high level by the time I do, uh, by the time I do, um, go up to High Hrothgar and come back. This is freaking stupid ass bear. 
tell you what, man, the wildlife in Skyrim is no chill. Just no chill. It's probably, I don't know how the weather is going to be when we go through this little mountain pass. It might be pretty cold. Just gonna hit a vegetable soup just for the stamina regen. Yeah, these like these freaking wolves, man. Let's get our torch out. Just depends on what kind of weather it is. It can be pretty cold going through this mountain pass. It just kind of like depends what kind of weather you're gonna run into. Which is again why I like to just rush to get the clear skies shell. Here we go. Some cultists up there. And I think it's gonna be pretty cold. Look at this. Freaking stupid ass wolf. Mom. Let's get our ebony flesh spell back. Mara's Wrath. Hit him with the. Whatever, I'm just gonna do up. Fortify destruction on these clowns. Mom. Yeah, the, uh, one of those ones is an ascendant cultist. Guy. Take that B, uh, what is that, extra, extra, extra magica, that's for garbage in her mind. Yeah, whatever, let's just leave this crap. He is, uh, fighting this wolf, see you later. Good job, Lydia. No, I just freaking took out that one. Goat. Eaten since we have that um the necromage perk. Let's see how long uh look at fortified destruction. Yeah, it's in, so instead of uh so it lasts for twenty five percent longer too. See it says for ninety seconds. Yeah, it's for cold. Take the torch off. Usually I mean the potion itself says it's for sixty seconds, but that necromage perk stacks with it. So really, it's for uh, 90, which is pretty awesome too. A minute, so a minute and a half instead of a minute of uh, like 400 and whatever, 455 percent extra damage from our destruction spells, which makes um, taking out legendary, like a revered and legendary dragons on legendary difficulty, viable as a mage. Especially if you hit them with uh, when one of those poison to sh fire or shock. Arrows? Like poison of weakness to fire or poison of weakness to shock. Then are you then you can really do freaking damage to the like legendary dragons. You like two shot those things. Uh, two or three shots on them. Okay, this uh quest over here, man, it's freaking cold over here. I could hit a vegetable oh, here we go. It's freaking cold. If I really want, maybe let's take out. Uh, we don't, I really don't need to, but I, I. This is just an opportunity to use our ward spell. Greater ward and pretty cold, but there's there should be a campfire up there that I can warm up on. Yeah. Yeah. Ran over. Uh, where's this hag? Oh. Just an opportunity to actually use that greater ward spell. Yeah, we're pretty cold. Oh, that witch. Even though I have, I mean, I have a lot of magic resistance anyway, but. An opportunity to actually use a ward spell for it to be useful. Got this freaking hag right here. Right, Revson of Blaster. Almost got her. She's freaking dead? Mmm, yeah. Yeah, she's dead. Nice. Miss Nettlebane. Looks like Lydia hit her a couple times too, nice. 
Good job, Lydia. Let's see what they got in these chests and gold. Yeah, like there's some fires over here. We can give our warmth up. Anything over here? Some apples. Nice. Grab these. That's why I like I like survival mode, because of that too. It makes actually grabbing food like um worth it. Besides just vegetable soup ingredients, because that's all I would really grab if I wasn't uh, in survival mode. It's just like ingredients for vegetable soup. And I don't think I'm cold. Am I? No. I'm not cold. Just doing a bad job. Whatever, dude. Not even bothered. There's plenty of freaking crap in there anyway. So we got Nettlebane. Yep. I wonder if we're one running the cultists again. Sometimes I run into them like three times on the way back to Lakeview Manor. I want to kind of, I kind of like dunk on these um, bandits that are hanging out in here. Uh, knock knock. What's up, clowns? Hit him with a uh, unbounded freezing. Yeah, get him, Lydia. Nice. Yeah, whatever, bro, you're doing, they do like no freaking damage to me. Argonian loser, alright. Some freaking losers back there. He has got her bow out. Back to Helgen where it all began. Where are all these clowns? Probably in this house. Took that idiot out. This way. Center flying. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> look at that. They're gonna go. Oh, there's one more of you. Oh, Bandit Marauder, right? You're dead. That one uh, freaking bandit went flying. Absolutely flying. That was hilarious. All right, Lydia. Let's get out of here. Almost back to Lakeview Manor. Let's 
we can probably go to Windhelm and take uh, the take the boat over to Solstheim from there and get that first part of that quest done. This stupid bear over here. I right, will have to take this freaking bear off. Maybe Rhea is gonna come out. Rhea, where are you? Help take out this bear, please. She's usually pretty good about taking those things out. Lydia's probably gonna be back there too. Oh, freaking giant over here. I'm gonna paralyze this guy. You're dead. Let's help Ray over here. Okay, that was not a kill cam. This one, maybe? Got him? Nice. You okay, Ray? Let's get her some heals. Awesome sort. Uh, plants are ready to go. Yeah, so I planted glowing mushrooms, nightshade, um, one giant lichen. So the, the glowing mushrooms and the nightshade is for the fortified destruction potions. The giant lichen is for the weakness to shock, along with bees. So we have the apiary back there for. Um, got blue mountain flower. See, it, it attracts bees in here too, which is really good. So blue mountain flower and wheat for the fortified health potions. Uh, juniper berries and bleeding crown for weakness to fire and then juniper berries and Namira's rot has a really good um a really good uh, uh, regenerate regenerate health potion that lasts like seven and a half minutes it's like freaking 400 percent health regen for seven and a half minutes but there's like a it's like a boss battle potion huh Something didn't get planted over here. What did I not plant? Um, Namira's rot, I think, didn't get planted. So you got some leaks. You don't really find leaks in barrels for for uh, vegetable soup, so I just planted those. I should have told Lydia to just chill in a. Freaking chill out somewhere. Scaly foliota, got some of that. So yeah, I grabbed it. Okay, so this one should be removed. Let's get uh this planted. And the scaly foliota, we'll get that planted. Or is it more top of, uh, No, that's scaly foliage, so the more top of Nala. Plant that. Cool. For this, sit, hit, go to Windhelm and then take the boat over to Solstheim. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Windhelm's a bit cold for my tastes. I ain't talking about the weather. You're not from Windhelm, are you? Now, so with the gear that you can get, you can get on the Azadil's, um, Azadil's armor. Which, if you equip four items of the Azadil's armor, it gives you a plus ten to enchanting. 
And then there's also uh, White Ridge Barrow in Solstheim with uh, the Sallow Regent book. And one of the, um, that's probably you go with the Seeker of Sorcery first, which is 10% boost to, um, to mage skills, so which includes enchanting. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make one last, uh, I'm not going to do a, I'm only going to do one loop of it. Just to get, make one really good potion and armory, uh, a really good potion, or uh, yeah, um, alchemy and smithing set. And then with that alchemy and smithing set, let's get a worm here. Make um, an, an enchanting, one in, uh, just, just an enchanting potion to make our last really good mage set. And it'll pretty much just, I'll pretty much use it to like, so. Make my um, mage gear that I have on now, right? I'll pretty much just use it. Oh, I got these stupid cultist crap on me. It's all right, it doesn't really, not really taking that much carry weight. But like, I don't, I, the, the boots is fine. I don't, I don't need to make another pair of boots. It's already got the resistance caps for those, but I'll make like another, like a really good pair of gloves that'll get me more carry capacity and probably, probably just for carry capacity to be honest. And then a, 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 two, a necklace with a really good health. So it'll increase my health more and probably put health, health rate on it instead of magic resistance. And then another ring with health rate and I, with health and not sure yet. I don't think I'm gonna do the illusion though. Yeah, I don't think, I don't need to make another one of these because we're already at the, um, it's already over 100%. I'm not sure though, I might just, uh, I was saying before, I might just spend points and make um, just put points into like into expert, the expert illusion. Uh, skill or perk. Because the only illusion There's spell that I really use, I'm not. More. This isn't like an illusion mage build. The only illusion spell I really use is is uh, invisibility, and I hardly even use that. So if I could just Kyle, if I could just um half the cost of the invisibility spell, I wouldn't even need to have a freaking invisibility ring. And I could just put something else on it, like health, uh, probably either um, healing rate or stamina regen. Let's see, I'm just gonna make sure I'm well, yeah, well rested. Let's talk to Yal Captain Yalen. I guess get yourself settled then. Yeah, either healing rate. Hell definitely I think I'll do two healths. Like a health on the a necklace and ring. One healing rate, so we're still well well rested, that's good. Now let's get a I'm gonna do a vegetable soup. And maybe like two health rates, because I don't need the magic resistance. I'll have um you did in those mines. Oh, we cleared out. She's happy we cleared out the mines. Yeah, I don't know. I don't need the magic resistance because I'll eventually have a uh, almost next to the magic resistance cap with like the agent of Mara, um, the alteration tr uh, perk tree for magic resistance, and the Lord Stone. So I guess we'll just we'll see. I mean, I mean, I could, I could put like a carry weight on it too to increase carry weight, but I don't know. We'll, let's, we'll see. Talk to Rallis here. I'll clear out this mine. Uh, oh. Clear out the dragger in there. I can, this is what I get. Well, it might be over yep. either way. Me and Lydia will get it sorted out. It looks like a dead end. Just gonna demonstrate how good uh, Mara's wrath is. Every Draugr down here should run from us, besides the Death Lord, who's right there. I'm just gonna hit him with an unbounded freezing. He's dead. 
Oh. My bad, Lydia. Shouldn't have hit. Didn't, I don't think it did any damage to her because we got that, uh. We went with. Yep. Let's get some Draugr's Scourge just to run it. There we go. Got the boots. Is she mad at me? No. Alright. Oh, these, these guys up here? Yeah, they just ran. Mars Wrath is freaking OP for clearing out um, crypts or freaking Draugr areas. Let's get this Ebony War Axe. We got the boots. I don't think any of these other Draugr are going to have anything useful on them. No, it's just like Nord, the Nord Maces. Awesome. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Good job, Lydia. We were literally just in there, girly. Just in there, you goofball. Yep, so we dealt with them. Now we gotta give this clown some more money. I never get tired of that sound. Yeah, I was saying before, I really like the Unbounded Freezing spell. It is freaking awesome for dealing with uh, close, like close quarters enemies as a mage. So it just freezes them, they fall over. It doesn't like totally paralyze them for seconds or whatever, but it's just really good for like Draugr Death Lords like that. You can just keep wailing, you just keep throwing um, elemental blasts at them. When they get up, just uh, freeze them again. Can't say I'd mind heading out. Right then. Let's be off. All right, Lydia, let's get out of here. Gallon does the business around here. I'm just a ship's. Leader. Watch what you're doing. Want some of these salmon? Right, cool. So we got the first part of that done. What I could do, uh, so we're gonna pick up Sophie. My father was a Stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I, I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but really? Do you, do you have a place I could live? What? Why isn't Lakeview Manor showing up? I have the beds made. Oh, dude, I'm just gonna. Cr oh, don't make me crush Lydia, or don't make me crush her soul like that. I have both of these beds made there. Whatever. Oh. Let's just send her to White Run. Wow. Are you? Are you sure? And then we can you always really just mind? move Yay. her later. Thanks, Mama. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. How about that, Lydia? I got a kid now. That's so weird that Lakeview Manor didn't show up. Um, I have the beds built. Like, that's weird. Hmm. Freaking weird. I just have to double check. I know I made the beds though. Hmm. 
Maybe... There's Lydia coming along. Maybe I'll have to, like... Oh, once I... Once I get married in the game, then I can... Then I can, like, move uh, move them to there afterwards or something. I don't know. I'm going to go to Fall Creek, dude. Climbing back and we'll be off. Sun feels good, huh? So I guess she'll be she'll be a white run, all alone. It's just a game, but that's yeah, all good. It'd be nice to get you get a decent um uh the mother's comfort or whatever mother and father's comfort perk is really good for uh, your healing spells heal a lot more. Some village vigilance of Stendar. Lydia's doing her run thing, so I can just um press R to Yeah. To like equip my weapon or whatever and then she'll stop running around in place like that. Okay, as to those I usually uh, put like all of our crafting and potion making gear in here. I got the boots. It's boots of water walking. Okay, so if you wear the, the boots, tell you if you wear any four re relics of Azado, plus ten enchanting. So it has to be four. If you wear more or less, it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. So um, I think what we'll do is we're ready to go get the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Before I do that, though, we'll go to Mor. Well, we have to go to Morthal. It's pretty close to Morthal. And what I might do is just um, bring enough materials, like basically bring I iron. I think it's some straw, some leather strips, and uh, so bu bring building materials to build the uh, Winstead Manor Home. I'm just going to build like the small version of it. It's not going to be the big one like this. But that one's really useful to have because it's like right next to uh, the the um, Nordic Burial Mound or whatever uh, where uh, the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller is. And you can get access to a carriage there, which is really, it's a really useful spot for a carriage. It's like pretty close to Solitude. There's like plenty of times where I use that freaking carriage there in, in, in survival. And it has access to the the fish the, the hatchery too, where you can like put some fish in there, which is kind of cool. But um, there's just and there's just like a short there's like just a really short quest that you need to do in Morthal to be able to purchase the property there. So we'll like go to Morthal, just get that get that quest finished with, and then you just have to like help three people in Morthal, which is super easy. And then you become the Thane of Morthal, and you can buy the property, and then we'll um, just quick build. We'll just quickly build that property up there, so I can basically just I basically just build it, so I can have access to a carriage over there, which is really useful. But I'm gonna end it here. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Hope everybody has a good one, and take it easy.